I don't know why I try to write a load of dolorous prose when it's lively and MacGyvering that lights my fires. I suppose when I compose a load of over-sober moping that it's credibler and calmer than this later 80s drama. I mislead myself, my serials unreadable and tedious, an uninspiring rival for excitement like MacGyver. Still, I thrill for Bruce McGill and I'm a fan of R.D. Anderson. As soon as I've a fiver, I will buy the final season of MacGyver. I have got to stop my plotting of such ponderous plop when it's schlocky shots of bombs a mock that rock my socks, when my sinuses delight in whiny crime and grim detritus. But MacGyver's shining sciences ignite inside appliances, resourcefully enforcing is a course I would endorse. Make no mistake, heroes escape explosive fate with just a roll of tape. Hurrah for Dana Elkard, I'm a fan of R.D. Anderson. As soon as I've a fiver, I will buy the final season of MacGyver. These days, they say, the cliché's a dismaying way to save the day. The 80s weren't the same. The clichéd ways were praised with great hoorays, amazing tales of danger, strangely chaste and entertaining, brave and able, and my brain today is aimless, strained and waning, rainy, dreary insincerity. Austerity so wearies me, through bleary tears, the TV screen appears a cheery hero. He's a handy man of action. I'm a fan of R.D. Anderson. As soon as I have a fiver, I will buy the final season of MacGyver. If you're alive, you'll feel aliver. Watching some MacGyver.